that love will win, win. When Dan was diagnosed with Asperger's, you never saw such a happy guy. <laughs> He finally knew why he was different than other people. He went on to declare to me that he thought both Tom Jarmusch and myself have Asperger's. <laughs> I love that I was included somehow in this diagnosis. Dan was a gem with an unusual eye and perspective. He spent his life as an artist making it and learning about art and medicine. He entered worlds so few people ever enter. Wrestling in the backwoods of Pennsylvania, shamanism in South America, the isolation and grandeur of the Antarctic, the beauty of the Oro, Oro is, if you pronounce it. I'm so, so glad I had an unusual talent and friend such as Dan Asher in my life. I feel, feel very honored to have journeyed for so many years on this strange planet with him as my friend and fellow imagination gangster. And this is a shorter thing my brother, Jim John Schrupp. Dan Asher was one of the kind. He was a visionary artist, unbound by genre, trends, or the concerns of the art marketplace. Dan followed his own interests, fascinations, and intuitions. He traveled all over the world looking in the shadows and the unlit corners, enlightening himself with possibilities and feeding the second stunning strangeness of his own consciousness. Dan was also an instigator, gruff, opinionated, yet compassionately armed with the infinite power of ideas. I knew Dan for more than 30 years. Though the majority of our conversations were haphazard and usually on street corners, with his bag full of books and music, he was like a Santa Claus of unusual perspectives. He's far from my interest in many worlds, from cargo calls to aberrant weather patterns, from shamanism to the Asian avant-garde. He, he was a tracer. I will miss him deeply. His gifts and his insights are irreplaceable. I feel extremely lucky. <laughs> I feel extremely lucky to have known this remarkable father.